All right, so we're back for day two. So today is already going, it's, it's kind of a strange one already. So if you remember yesterday, we came and I set that line in the tree. The idea was we're gonna save time so the crane's not waiting on me. Well, we got out this morning and the wind was just kind of rip roaring through here. And so the crane operator did not feel safe working in this wind. So he left, they left and we're already out here. The whole crew is out here and everything. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna start lowering these limbs down. It was kind of, a, we were kind of wondering, is it better to just come back with the crane, try to do it all in one day tomorrow? or do it, maybe we'll get the brush done today. And so we're trying to figure out the most efficient way to do it, but the whole crew's here. So we're just gonna start brushing it out and I think it's gonna go just fine. So somebody's gonna go up and start nibbling away at these lower branches right here while I go up and set my rigging. And uh, you know, a lot of times I just rig branches as I go up, but I've already got the line tied in there. It's gonna be a lot of rigging. So I'm gonna go all the way to the top and set a block up there. I'm gonna use this half inch block and then I'll make it really efficient so we can lower multiple branches at a time. You'll see I got a different helmet on today. This is one of Peter's Synetics. So they use this for crane work and it uses radio frequencies or something. There's like a base station you have to sync up to. So I'm, I'm trying it out, see how this thing works. pants man they look like jeans it's a great time to be a tree climber yeah it's gonna be a long ascent <laughs> take your time I get my little block and then my <coughs> rigging line too yeah so having having that line in the top is really efficient instead of flip lining up and over all those limbs and everything just clipping into this system and just walking right up the rope kind of tiring going that far but it's pretty fast it only takes a few minutes but I'm gonna set up my rigging go down I'm gonna switch over to spurs I'm trying to keep my climb line. I'm talking to my GoPro again, guys. Uh, yeah, I'm keeping my climb line on this side, but I'm gonna keep all the rigging over here so that I'm not fighting it. So. Sarah, can you see the other end of my rope? Is that going down on the ground? Just at the ground? Okay. Oh, 
Uh, can somebody tie on my spurs to my climbing line, please? Thank you. I'm about ready to start rigging whenever y'all are ready. All right, so yeah, there's Sarah up there and she, that's 65 feet. She reduced some of the largest limbs, which is actually gonna be really helpful. because I was worried about them smacking the trunk, blowing shrapnel off towards the church. So, but look how tall this tree is. I mean, she's like a couple rungs up this thing and that's all it can reach. This is a huge tree. So hold on one sec. I'm actually gonna do two limbs, if that's all right with you. All right. Yeah, you just let me know when you're ready. Yes, sir. All right, you ready? Yep. So, okay, here we go. These are pretty small, but there are three of them. All right, I'm ready whenever you are. Thanks.
y'all think this tree is? I'm gonna guess 170 is gonna be my guess. Sarah, you said 112, and then Banks said 145. Peter's gonna guess 175, and the other Peter, did he guess? Oh, 195. I'm glad I got, I got that 300 foot rope. This one's got this broken piece, but I don't, I think it's gonna hang on. Yeah, I think it's gonna hang on, just because it's pretty so strong, but if it does fly off, it'll fly off in your direction, so. And then this next one, I, yesterday I, I slinged up these hangers to it, so it's, it's kind of like a bundle of crap, but it's all tied together. Uh, so there are three slings up here already. So, and then with this one, so th there should be four slings that come back to me. All right, and I'm clipped on whenever you're ready. So it's another big fat branch. Um, I'm gonna cut and chuck a few tiny ones and then I'll cut that big one. Like two to four foot chunks yeah it's because we're trying to get the the trunk wood down to 125 okay <laughs> that's like where i'm at <laughs> yeah <laughs> Woo. okay yeah uh so you want to start stockpiling the brush here on out yeah i i actually do because you you whenever we do this i'd always hope there's more brush than less and if we if we don't start stockpiling soon you hate to have too little. 
Okay. How are you gonna clean, are you gonna clean all that up by hand or are you gonna do it with some sort of machine, all the brush and the wood and everything? We're coming back with the grapple, so it, it'll be perfect. There won't be any effort cleaning it up. Oh, nice. That's awesome. Pretend like you're making um, a, like a, just a really nice crash pad. And so if there's long tips, you'd actually cut those off and then throw those in. But we're, we're trying to like, we want to lay down kind of a nice even like layer of branches and then lots of tips, lots of duff on top. The more the better. Probably just like within that area where the mats are then, eh? Just Perfect. like yep. dice everything and just fill the mat area. And it's almost better if the limbs crisscross a little bit because then the wood doesn't push the branches apart. Yeah, make a big old brush pile, but it'll just be important to definitely kind of zero in, like, I don't know, maybe if you stand over there, see those little twigs, Sarah, right in front of you? A little bit closer, yeah, right there. That'll be like the center of the pile, if Jacob's liking that. Yeah, that's great, yeah. <laughs> Too. I did not want to cut that rope. Nice. <laughs> That's a heart stopper, man. It starts taking off. That will make some nice pad. Yeah, cutting those into even like six footers, eight footers. Sometimes guys get hurt lower and stuff like the limb is coming down and they walk under it and you still got that stuff following it you know so this one also has a hanger strapped up so I should have five slings coming back to me this one's kind of a mess <laughs> As far as the sound quality goes, this is by far the best thing I've ever worn. Really? These cinetics are really nice.
takes a long time for you to pull the rope back to me. You guys ever watch movies from your childhood and you wish you hadn't watched it? I did that with, uh, I think it was, what is it, Billy Madison, where Adam Sandler goes back to school. Dude, it was really cringy. But I rewatched it and I was like, I actually told my wife, I was like, you have to watch this movie, it's so funny. And then we were watching it and it was really awkward because, like, we both know it's not funny, but I was really hyping it up. This is actually starting to get a little bit breezy, a little more than I like up here. So, and it's just gonna get worse as I get higher up because, you know, as I remove these branches, the sail goes closer to the top. And so this tree's gonna move more and more the more I, the, the further I go. Hold on one sec. Uh, so a trick you can do to make it move significantly less, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start leaving some branches just on the backside and on the sides, but clear everything so I've got a nice path so that my top can clear. And then by leaving a few branches on the side and on the back, it will make a lot of dampening for the wind. And when the top goes over, the, the tree's gonna move significantly less. Whereas if I just skin it all the way up and then take a, a little top up there, you know, this tree's already gonna be moving a lot from the wind. I'm really high up here and the tree's probably fine it's super strong but i'll just feel a little you know i'll just feel a little more stable if i just leave a few limbs and take the top and then come back down and cut those off and you'd be surprised what a difference it makes <laughs> yeah it's just one of those things like and i'm talking to you guys again uh you know <laughs> If you set up the rigging right and everything, it doesn't take any longer to to do it that way either. And I mean, it it's seriously like the tree is way more stable just leaving a few limbs on it. It's especially nice when it's really tall, you know. Now it's getting to the point where it's kind of uncomfortable for me a little bit, like, because as I get higher and I keep limbing it, it's like, yeah, you guys know. put that grapple over the top of those mailboxes I think I'm gonna throw a few small branches down and they might like 
really go sailing. cut the top out it's probably like 20 feet tall and it's, it's probably a little smaller than some of those limbs you it is smaller than some of those limbs that you did I'm gonna cut my face cut <laughs> look I got that big open channel so this isn't going to get hung up it's going to clear right through but it seriously makes a bigger difference than you'd think just leaving these limbs on here and I feel a lot better because it, it's actually starting to blow pretty good but once this top is out this tree is not going to blow around at all you're good to go all right on top <laughs> Good. Uh, don't pull the rope up yet because I'm going to go back down and yeah, I'm going to go back down there. Out. I'm gonna lower my saw down for some gas. 
Oh, you know, maybe, maybe I should just, it's gonna get big kind of fast. Maybe I'll just take my 46. I've got a 28 inch bar on my 46. I think that'll work well. So whenever you're ready, um, I'm gonna have you just jiggle the rope and I'm gonna drop my block and it's gonna basically zip line down to you, but it'll come down slowly if you're jiggling the rope. Yeah, just like that. Okay, I'm gonna drop my block. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna throw the rigging line out now. So, no, I don't think I'm gonna throw this carabiner down. That's a long ways down. That's a long ways down. All right, rope out. So we're all brushed out. I'm gonna start bringing it down. Oh, there's an airplane. Um, I'd kind of prefer to have my 200, but I'm gonna be in bigger woods so fast. I'm just gonna use my 462. Man, that plane is super low. push on the butt at the end I'm trying to get these the land kind of flat in the pile so I don't poke through but you just push it over and just give it a little just push on the butt and it didn't really land that flat <laughs> That's a good idea with the brush pile, Peter. going that far anymore Whew. all right well I'll just head down then I think we're good so all right this is a good height we can reach the rest from here with the crane um, that crash pad is a great idea so I'm gonna head down and when we do the wood uh, Peter will just bring me back up but you know I, it wasn't so bad all that stuff so I can push it pretty far because I'm so high but now it's getting really heavy and it's getting closer and closer. There's a rock wall right there. So 
I can't really chunk it anymore without risking hitting that rock wall. So we're just gonna head down. And so far, so good. So you'll see me a lot of times, I'll just clip a carabiner and I'll clip that to the trunk when I'm doing spar work and stuff. But I always do that when I can like kind of see it. But if I'm leaving my rope and I can't really see it and it's far away, then I'll just tie a knot. It's just a little more secure, but the carabiner is probably fine. But if I can't see my rope and taking weight off and on, I'll just, I'll do it that way. All right, heading on down. Yeah, you too. It's really the ground that made it go fast. You guys are chowing through that brush. That truck is so cool. Man, that, that grapple was awesome. How it, how it's flat on the edges too. It's incredible how fast that cleanup just happened. Well, cool. Well, I might not see you again. Yeah, so. nice to meet you, man. Yeah, nice to meet you. Right. you yeah, it was nice yeah. to meet you. Yeah. Sorry, no, it's all good. Yeah, nice work. Thanks. Yeah, you too. Yeah, welcome back to Seattle. Oh, there's, there's like a lunch, there's a lunch box. I got, this belong to? Oh, uh, you probably put it in the grapple. With the, in the grapple truck? Yeah, all the helmets are sitting in the passenger seat. Oh, is this the, this thing? Yeah, that's like the base. Oh, base. I thought it was the lunch box. <laughs> <laughs> Which, where's that? Uh, the Limb Reaper. Dude, so it had a couple bad seals in the crank. Oh, and so he had to fix it and he's like shipping it to me. Yeah, so we're just gonna set up the crane tomorrow. Um, it's not gonna make much sense to set it up now. So we'll be back bright-eyed and bushy-tailed in the morning to finish this off. And look, the church is still there. All right, see you guys.